Hey there folks, LazyBones2020 here with another Loot Crate unboxing. This is the Loot Gaming Loot Crate. This one's for the month of July with the theme of boom. Uh, so it's gonna be a really exciting. Last month's crate was nature. Um, and you can check out that video uh, somewhere, somewhere on here. I could learn how to do annotations. Um, and uh, it was it was pretty cool. I was a little disappointed though just by the the types of items that I got from it. Um, they didn't seem necessarily um, uh, practical from that box. Um, they were from franchises I liked for the most part. Uh, but going into this one, uh, I know a good deal about all the franchises included. Um, those franchises being um, Dig Dug, Soul Calibur, Crash Bandicoot, and we've got the last one is Quake. Uh, that's the only one I don't know a ton about, but uh, it's got a cool logo. So um, I'm sure whatever's in here is gonna be uh, super awesome. So let's get it open. Oh, by the way, uh, these guys are $28.95 plus shipping. Um, you get about $60. Um, worth of content or more. Um, it ends up being on the more side of the spectrum quite a lot, but um, I was distracted by the numbers because this is this is awesome. This is super cool. Uh, so first thing I see is the Soul Calibur shirt for Cervantes. Uh, he's an awesome character who's been in the franchise forever. Um, and I was really curious how they were gonna handle um, Soul Calibur fitting into the boom theme. And it shouldn't have been that hard for me to think of since there's a pirate and pirates go boom, um, or at least they make things go boom. So, so it makes sense, but this is a super cool print. Um, this is the official art um, that they have for them. And it's really clean, really high quality. I'll put that up there, see if you can see it. Um, but I like it a lot. The material is good and comfortable. Um, definitely a lot more exciting than the Apex Legends shirt that I got um, from the last crate. And that was because I didn't know a whole lot about Apex Legends. But uh, like I said last time, it's it's an A. My name's Austin, so I, I can at least go off, go off of that. Um, here is the Dig Dug item. It looks like a kind of drawstring bag. Drawstring. Uh, that, that's, that's hard to say fast. Um, so let's open it up and take a look. Okay, that's neat. So it's it's not a full drawstring bag. Actually, I think it could fit maybe, I think it might be for a tablet or something like that, actually. Um, oh, there's a little bit of fuzz. Okay, cool, it all came off. But it's really cool. It's It's got a good um, design on it, classic Dig Dug. Um, it wraps all the way around with the design. Um, that game was always a lot of fun for me growing up. I never got that far. Um, but it's, it's been a while. I, I should go back and give it a shot and see see how many levels I can get into. <laughs> I think I only got past like level three um, historically. So <laughs> let's see, here is a Quake Cup, which will be easier to see. Oh, that's interesting. So here's the Quake Cup. Um, it's got an interesting mouth to it. Not something I'm super, you can't really see it because it's, it's so dark. Ugh. But that's pretty cool. It's does it screw on or does it pop off? Did I just break it? Okay, so it's just a pop off. Neat. And uh, it seems pretty sturdy. I'll definitely have to give it a chance. I don't think it's thermal or anything like that. Um, it has an infinity sign, whatever that means. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> I'll have to look it up afterwards. Um, and then we've got each month, um, you get an exclusive loot gaming themed pin. Uh, last month we got in a joystick. I looked it up afterwards. Um, this one is an explosion, which makes sense. So, boom. Um, I like that a lot. That's gonna be fun to put on my bag, uh, my fight stick bag that I've got. Um, and before I get to the Crash Bandicoot item, which is a blind box, and they told us that um, going into it, uh, we got some Dr. Squatch soap. It's the Area 51 brick. Um, it's like an alien greenish kind of color to it. The story. We all have human obligations, but as men, we still desire to be wild, free, and natural like a Sasquatch. Turn your shower up a notch and unleash your inner man with Dr. Squatch. Soap that's full of the simple and natural ingredients your body loves and deserves. Made from five natural oils, uh, no harsh chemicals, handcrafted, please recycle. Do I recycle the soap or the package? It's gonna be the package. Um, but that's pretty cool. It actually smells pretty good. Um, smells like 
like aliens, I think is what they're going for. <laughs> and speaking of Dr. Squatch, um, you get a 15% off coupon to the site. Uh, pretty neat. So if you like the soap, you can uh, go get some more of it. So here we are now with the Kid Robot Crash Bandicoot blind box. And with this guy, you can get Crash Bandicoot, Crash Bandicoot with crazy eyes, Crash Bandicoot with Aku. You can get Uka Uka, Aku Aku, his sister Coco, and Dr. Neo Cortex. So I'd be fine with like pretty much all of these, except for one. And I'll let you guys guess that based on my reaction of if I get that one or not. But I have a feeling Okay, so I, I can kind of tell just by this that it's not... Well, unless they're all, like, thin, because that would be a surprise. There's a pair here. Okay, sweet. I got Uka Uka. I am, like, slightly familiar with Crash Bandicoot when I was a kid, uh, but I really love this guy. He's so cool. He's got a lot of character. Um, so I'm, I'm assuming he's the evil mask um, from the franchise, where Aku Aku is your friendly mask. Um, that crash has. This is neat. It's a cool vinyl. Uh, stands up on its own pretty well. Um, if, if it wasn't so far away from the screen. <laughs> oh, and then I say that and then he falls right over. Uh, but no, no, it's really good quality actually. Um, the, the painting's all pretty solid. Um, I'm not sure. How, this is the only item that's actually not exclusive to the crate. You can just purchase these if you want to get um, the rest of them, which is nice since it's a blind box and you've got like a 3 in 24 chance of getting whichever one you wanted. Um, so cool you can get those, but each of these other items um, are exclusive to the box. So if you didn't get a loot crate this month, um, unfortunately they might be lost to the echoes of time until they do one of their uh, rerun um, crates, I think is what the, they might not be called that. <laughs> but but they do sometimes uh, have older items that are available. But all in all, I love everything, um, which is really nice um, compared to last month's where I was a little disappointed. Um, I didn't go too into detail about it because that was my first one. Um, but I, I love all of these things. I'm going to try to find something that can fit in this. If not, um, a tablet, maybe my headphones. Um, would be cool. Um, it cinches up, oh, just on one side like that, um, which is pretty good. It's pretty solid there. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to wear this shirt like at least once a week. Um, he's definitely a cool character, and I've been needing to put more time into Soul Calibur 6. Uh, so it gives me a reason uh, to try out Cervantes, see if I can uh, main him. If not, it'll just be embarrassing when I wear the shirt and don't play as them. <laughs> but from that, uh, that was July's box. Uh, really cool. Uh, I enjoyed it. Our next ones coming out are the Fallout Crate and the Elder Scrolls Crate. I think they're coming out at the same time. Um, the app isn't super helpful with, with tracking your shipments. Um, I th you've got to log in on your computer and that's not as convenient as opening the app, but the app's not as convenient if it doesn't work. Uh, so that's just something to, to think about. Uh, but all in all, no, definitely worth it. I mean, I'm glad that I hung on for a little bit longer instead of just canceling um, after that first box. So uh, I'm excited to see what we get next. Um, until then, thanks for uh, sticking around and uh, we'll catch you next time.